Do I remind the world? Do I remind you all that what happens to Palestinians now sets a new precedent that means that everywhere, anywhere in the globe is not safe? No, 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 no. I should speak to you plainly as a mother. I should tell you that my heart breaks over and over every single day that I cannot take another image of a baby covered in dust from the rubble that was her home, gasping for air. That I cannot handle another young girl running after her mother, her mother's corpse, asking her to get up. That it pains me to watch young, a young boy begging the man about to bury his baby brother for a strand of hair from his baby brother's head. That I have to admit that I am in sheer awe of Wa'il Dahdouh who buried his wife and his son and his daughter who both wanted to be journalists like him and got up the next day in front of a camera to continue to report the genocide of his people. That we are a remarkable people fighting for the noble cause of freedom. That we understand clearly that this is a genocidal campaign intended to complete the Nakba, to fulfill the Zionist fantasy of a land without a people, despite a valiant people that refuse to disappear, who vow to stay in their homes rather than become refugees again, who tell us, لن نرحل من هنا, لن نرحل من هنا, لن نرحل. whose pride and love and rootedness and tradition and song and prayer and belonging will forever, forever haunt settlers who build nuclear weapons. We existed before Zionist colonial invasion. We exist now even among the rubble of humanity's remains. We will exist when Zionism is dismantled bit by every racist colonial bit.